Ashanti. She finally spoke out. She spoke to my girl, uh, the one and only fabulous Miss Angie Martinez. Exactly. Love Angie. And she um she opened up about the Earth affair and her thoughts on on you know his comments on drink chance and all of that. And um essentially she was like he lied about a lot of things. Yeah, that's what she said. She, you know what? She has been carrying herself with so much profound class throughout this whole ordeal. Um, when Irv was saying what he was saying, Rue was sitting right next to him and Rue was quiet as a church mouse. Yep. Rue was still going on tour with Ashanti. And smart as smart as Rue is, he was like, I'm not going to offend Ashanti. Right? I'm not going to offend her. That's my sister. That's my girl. We go on tour together. We make money together. So I'm staying way the hell up out of this. I would tend to believe Ashanti. I would, because Ashanti has carried herself with a lot of style and a lot of class and a lot of grace. And I just feel like Irv is not in this situation. I don't think that's something that needed to be said. I mean, you had your joint coming on BT. We was going to watch it anyway. That was what, 20 some odd years ago? Like, you know, let, I don't let me think it needed you. to be said. Even if it's true, some things are better left unsaid. It don't, it, it don't have to be said. Irv, right around the time that he did this Drink Champs interview, he made an announcement that he did a deal, sold his catalog, um, got he got a bag, something like $300 million. Right. Um, Irv has been in and around the rap game for the, the, the majority of his life. He is behind uh, Murder, Inc. records and so many great artists, great Mike talent. Mike Geronimo before that, you know? Before that, correct. Yeah, Irv been around, man. Why do you think, I guess this is a two-part question, why do you think he feels the need, he himself, just as a, as a man, why does he feel the need to keep revisiting this situation with Ashanti, um, especially considering he was uh, married at the time? And, and two, does this hurt his legacy in any way? You know, he's this, he's this accomplished music producer, uh, executive, and he's made millions of dollars. Like and he found a way this. to make hits. At one time, Murder, Inc. was the most successful subsidiary of Def Jam. Yes. Rue yep. was, was outselling Jay-Z at one point and outselling X2. You know, so I don't, I can't speak for Irv. I, I, I don't know why. I think maybe if, when I looked at it, I was like, well, maybe he's just trying to find some kind of controversy to further promote the documentary series on on Murder Inc. that was coming out on BET Plus. That's what I thought it was, but then I was like, "Well, why? You know, why could you find something else? Like, why Ashanti? You know, she's such a sweetheart. Like, Ashanti don't bother nobody. Ashanti makes her music and tours and do her movies and do television series like." Mm. So you really think you really think this was strictly to get eyeballs to that to that documentary? Because I, I think feels that's like, I think that's what we live. That's the world we're living in right now. You know, I've seen. I'm gonna tell you why I feel that way because I follow Pam Long from Total on, okay. on and I know Pam put a book out about Total and 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 things about her ex husband and all that. She had to. She sat there on her Instagram feed for like five to seven minutes and apologized that she said that she lied, 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 lied oh, about man. things that happened with Total, about things that happened with her ex-husband, about abuse that she allegedly suffered at the hands of her ex-husband was all lies. And she came clean with it. So I think when people get into a position where they're trying to sell something, in order to sell something, sometimes they will bend the truth. You know, Rule was there. Rule didn't say no, and Rule didn't say yeah. That was that's what was going on. And then everybody else's question was: If that was going on, how old was Ashanti when you was doing this? Mm. And you were married. And isn't that a conflict of interest to be sleeping with somebody on your label? 
you know, if if it strictly was for the bag, um, then maybe you should have clued Ashanti in on it. <laughs> yeah, because when you think about it, like I said, if it wasn't right after that, it was right before he made this this announcement that we all proud of him for. Like, yeah, I like love her. You man. just sold your catalog. I love him, bro. And you got a three hundred million dollar check. Like, I love him. One of his like closest him. friends, my man Ron Gutter, is my niece's father. So Ron is wow. part. Of, Ron is part of our family. I love them dudes, man. With with all my heart and soul. I just don't know where that came from. I I just like, ugh. I don't know. I was hoping it was just a publicity stunt. That's what I was hoping. Yeah. Um, Stranger things have happened in the world of entertainment. Here's what I hope, and then we're moving on. Um, I hope he never speaks to this woman again. Honestly, I I I hope that that. Moving forward, you know, obviously he's going to do interviews in in the future. People are going to bring this up. It's okay to say, I don't speak about that. Yeah, I've said all that I need to say about it. And if y'all want to know how I feel about it, look at my old interviews. Yeah. I hope he never speaks about it again. Because you know there's his side, her side, and somewhere in between that is the truth. So... We may never even know. if it's all the truth, even if it's all the truth, number one, it's 20 plus years old. Number two, like you said, that woman has carried herself with so much class, dignity, and, and respect over the years. You never heard her speak about it. Even when she broke up with Nelly, she ain't throw Nelly under the bus. No, no. She keeps it moving. Yeah. 